All right, guys. Hi. Welcome to a new. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like empty. It's it's episode twenty. Yeah. There's not a lot on there. Uh, hello and welcome to a new episode of the McDon Cast. The number got one podcast. The number on one the internet, podcast ever basically. on Fox News website. It's not posted there. Should, yeah, America, America, is, <laughs> America is streaming. What do you think so. it would take to get on their website? Uh, probably, we'd just have to sell them our souls. Yeah, we'd have to do something like so stupid that we can make it like an opinion. Comment. Oh, we just have to get Harry Styles for a dress again. Yes, and then we will get on. Now we can make a 30 minute podcast ranting about it. Now we get on Fox News. There we go. There we go. Alright, anyways, we don't got a whole lot of news this week, but we do have a few mm-hmm. things. So most of it's just going to be us talking about random stuff. Right. That's the whole show. So, uh, obviously, we have our new studio, a new podcast studio, with probably worse audio quality. No, it's, be- it's infinitely better than it's ever been. They have mics now. And this won't be, this isn't going to be how it's normally set up. We just have five people in here today instead of the normal three. Max is here for some reason, and Morgan's back. I always Yo. do the podcast most of the time. All, you've missed, like, ten episodes. I think, well, last you know how at the end when we put the credits up is why it's still listed in the mm-hmm. credits. I think we should just keep. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna redo the credits. No, we should put we executive to, produced by Wyatt every single. We have to redo all those because our old logo is in those. Okay. Um, well, well, the first thing on the docket looks like gaming time. Gaming time with, with a Sonic Origins collection announced. Sam. Care to elaborate? Because I have no idea what that is. Well, okay. Sega did a direct for their one IP, Sonic oh, the Hedgehog, the BTS which is now. Sonic, right? Let him speak. No. And, yeah, it's Sonic. And they announced that uh, they're releasing another new coll- like Sonic Games collection because they didn't have enough of those already. There's like 50 of those. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's another uh, port of Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. And Knuckles. And Knuckles. I believe Sonic CD is also part of it, which does not get re-released as much as the other Starring ones. Dante from The Devil May Cry. Well, they just make a right. new one. <laughs> All right. All right. Let, let, all right. Oh, there was also. Did we talk about the other Sonic stuff last week? I don't think so. But hang on, hang on. Morgan's got to eat the BTS meal. Okay. <laughs> Review the sauces because that's the only thing yeah. that's different. Okay, yeah, the Cajun sauces first. <laughs> all right. All right well, what did you get a bit out of a out of ten? Reminds me of crab cakes. So was that a positive or a negative? <laughs> is that good or bad? It's not bad. <laughs> All right, try okay, that the chili The sweet one. chili one's better in my opinion. Would you would you buy that sauce? Would you get that sauce like if it didn't just come with the meal? I think I'd rather just eat crab cakes. Okay. I don't think that's an well, answer. McDonald's doesn't have crab cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just tastes like the sauce that's on crab cakes and not actually crab cakes. I don't know. Does it taste Cajun? I don't know. I don't. I don't even. Know. I don't even know <laughs> Cajun things. So no. Isn't one. that from like New Orleans? And that is just literally a sweet, spicy sauce. Mm-hmm. That is what it is. <laughs> Does it taste South Korean? I don't know. They should have put like a Korean. They should have put like a Korean barbecue sauce or something. They didn't do that. They should have done literally anything to make it different than a regular ten-piece nugget meal, other than like two. But sauces. did you see the ad where? The guy in BTS is like, 10 piece nugget? <laughs> Did you see the one where they're like, one for each member, and like they all eat, because like obviously they're it's BTS like members, members. Oh, they're not they, allowed to eat McDonald's. Why didn't they do a 10 piece spicy nugget meal to make it special at all? Yeah, because they already took the spicy nuggets away. That would have at least made it like unique. We all get one third people? of a fry to split. What was the, um, what was the Travis Scott meal? It was just like a cheeseburger. It was right? literally it was, a cheeseburger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. McDonald's can't make something well, they don't Well, because originally, originally the gimmick was it's just whatever that person normally orders yeah. at McDonald's. Yeah, but the BTS people aren't allowed to legally order at McDonald's. Also, because. it's not like they can just walk up to McDonald's and be like, hey, uh, make me a new sauce, please. Like, that yeah. sauce didn't exist until this meal came out. It's basically a sauce that they already have. It's basically the sweet, like, the really spicy yeah. sauce. Yeah. They should do a Rick and Morty meal with the session sauce. That's a good idea. It's a great idea, Max. <laughs> McDonald's should hire. Rick and Morty season five does come out at some point this month. Maybe, maybe. Okay, next we got. Um, we got more Sonic news. We do. I think we didn't talk about what happened last week with right. the Sonic Direct. So Sega did a video, a live stream, 
uh, that was basically their own version of a Nintendo Direct, but all about Sonic, because it's one of Sonic's anniversaries this year. I think it's 25. Obviously, it's 25 or 30. He's an old guy. He's an old man. Um, the main things they announced were a port slash remaster of Sonic Colors, the Wii game, for current-gen platforms. Do you have that one, Patrick? Let's no. see. No, oh, but he no. does... But we do have Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games. That's close enough. All right. <laughs> this is the all. This is the this is the All Star Games collection. Cars two on Wii and Mario and Sonic at the Beijing two thousand eight Olympic Games. That's a good game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they announced the Sonic Colors port slash remastered. Nothing really special there. Uh, and they announced Sonic Team is working on the true next gen mainline Sonic game with absolutely no title. Uh, it's supposed hey, to come out in 2022. Three. It's Why a three D game. Had <laughs> the rumored title yes. for the next uh, for the next game time is you guys come, we'll you bring guys, our own bottle. We'll bring your own bottle of ketchup. They're all gonna have bows. Was there a game called Sonic Rings? No. No. What was the game with the rings? Uh, not, not every single one. No, <laughs> that was. I don't know what you're talking about. Sonic and the Secret Wing. It no, was a I, Wii exclusive. I thought it was something Six Rings. I thought Six oh. Rings was in it. Wii exclusive. It was a. It was exclusive to the Wii. Because it was made specifically for that console, and it came out at the same time that Sonic 06 came out. Because Sonic 06 was too technically advanced for the Wii, okay. so they had to make a specific game for the Wii at the same time. Good. Good. Cool. I played That's all the Sonic games we have. I played Sonic 06 and Secret Rings. That That's the one where he Rings. falls in love with the princess. That's Sonic a person. Yeah, yeah, I know. I played that. Patrick, I think you'd really like that game. I'm sure I would. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a whole lot of news this week, if you can't tell. All right, what's next, Patrick? <laughs> we got Bloomberg claims Switch Pro to have a September October release date. Yeah, so Bloomberg just is continues to be on his role of just steal. Just I don't I don't know. He's got spies in Nintendo somewhere. Mike Bloomberg. Yes, Mike Bloomberg. Just, uh, hey, he did promise to get it done. So he did say he would get it done in his presidential campaign. That did not mean becoming president and meant leaking a bunch of Nintendo stuff. And meant billions spent in Florida. Mm-hmm. A state he did not win. Anyway, and Joe Biden also did not win, which he spent a lot of money on Joe Biden in Florida. Anyways, that's, not our uh, that's yeah. my so, problem. <laughs> so yeah, switch new switch coming out. It's about time. It's been like four years. No, since the switch it came is out. timeless. It doesn't need updates. We're coming up on five years of switch. Yeah, but it, it was flawless from the beginning. No problems. Just ignore the drift. You have to, if you ignore all the technical problems and the release gaps. And the fact that they still don't have a browser for some reason. Or Netflix. Or Netflix. Or any streaming service other than Hulu and YouTube. What else do you need? Every other streaming service that isn't watch, Hulu and YouTube. Watch next week. They'll be like, Shutters coming to the Switch. <laughs> oh, remember to not talk super loud because that might peak like, really easily. Oh, right. Yeah, Curiosity that. Stream is coming to the Switch. Discovery Plus. Curiosity Stream. Does it have like, like Netflix and Disney Plus and everything? Morgan's no. getting a spam. Oh, no. We're getting a spam call live on air. Ooh, Morgan, answer oh, it. Let's answer. Oh, do you stop your spaghetti? Gotta answer. You put it on the speaker. Hello, it's me. What do you want? <laughs> oh, it's <Iska. laughs> Bloomberg? Yeah. Right. All right, yeah. Right, the Switch leaks. Switch leaks. That's cool. That's it'll be out. It. It'll be out um, soon. It, it, uh, so for the Switch Pro, or whatever it ends up being, uh, there's a good chance they will reveal it right before E3, because Nintendo doesn't like to reveal hardware at E3. They like to do it in like a press release the week before and then talk about it at E3 for some reason. Yeah. Um, so they can put together a whole set piece. So there's a good chance we'll get some sort of at least teaser or reveal video like on next Tuesday, week. next Tuesday probably. At some point here in the future. Pretty cool. Next is TV news time. In TV news time, we got some new announcements. Uh, you remember that side character from SpongeBob, Patrick? Mm hmm. Yeah, he's getting a show, and it's coming to Paramount. Is it going to star you? It's going to star me, Patrick Grimes, <laughs> as, uh, as Patrick. What's yeah. your, give us your best Patrick to Star Wars, Patrick. No, I'm good. Oh, so, never mind. Looks, like, <laughs> looks like it's coming in July to the service that everyone has that they spent all the money on the Super Bowl commercials for. 
Right, so no, they did all this for free because well, yeah, they on CBS. Yes. Right, but they lost all the money that other people could have spent on ads. Uh huh. That's about it. You and can then, watch only SpongeBob. To be clear, what service? What are you talking about? The Paramount Plus service. Of course. Okay. Of course. What other service? The one that was advertised. For our at-home listeners who are oblivious to Paramount Plus, like ninety-five percent of the population. No. Everyone knows about Paramount Plus. You didn't know? Anything. No. It's so great. You can it's watch the Star Trek streaming service. And Star Trek. And they climb a mountain in the commercial. Yep. Oh, that's that's. You know who Stephen cool. Colbert is? No. He's gonna be on I, there. What? He's on there. Do you know who Trevor Noah is? That's CBS. Rock? Also, no. Do you know any late night talk show hosts? No. Are you familiar with the show Saturday Night Live? Do you know what that is? Yeah. Okay. Right. Stephen Colbert used to write for that show no, he in did like not. the nineties. Yeah. Nope. He did. No, oh wait, no. I'm thinking of uh, the redheaded guy. That's, that's an, an NBC show. Conan O'Brien. That's what I'm thinking of. I like Conan. You know who that is? <laughs> okay. Conan's, Conan's the only one. Oh, that's oh. He's the only now I remember who that. Yeah, that guy's dumb. I don't like that guy. Not, not, not Conan, Conan. The other guy. Yeah. Their last few one one there. That one. I don't yeah, like yeah, that. No, he's bad. bad. He was in one of their music videos. Yeah. It was funny is. in Community though. Yeah. Who? Oh, uh, John Oliver. Yeah. No, that's different guy. Who am I? I, who, I don't know. Stephen who. Colbert was in The Office. No. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Does anyone here know who Stephen no, Colbert so, is? No, he was, uh, uh, no he Stephen Colbert, Colbert was in the office because he was the professor at Cornell. That, or it was Andy's old friend yeah, at was Cornell some, yeah, he have, like, who friend. was called yeah. oh, Broccoli yeah. Man or something. So he had I know broccoli much Rob. Yeah. Broccoli Rob. Broccoli Rob. Yeah. Okay. I know way too what much about the What are we talking about? about? What, is, <laughs> what is Oki Disney? Okay. Patrick, do you remember the film A Black Panther? I uh, a Black Panther? Do you remember no. Black Panther? Yes. Okay, do you remember the character who had the spear? All of them. No. The, All of them. The, 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 the chick. The oh. chick. The girl with the spear. She was the ball. Spear. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, she is oh. getting her own spin off prequel television series on Disney. Plus. Good for her. That'd be cool. She was in the, she was in the other show, right? The, the in, Falcon and the Winter yeah, Soldier? That was a different one. That was a different one, but they were part of the same group. That was a different ball of spear lady. Ball spear lady. Spear lady. It, okay. it, could, it could be cool, I guess. Um, I get, my guess is this is part of the. I know Ryan Coogler's production company. Well, they got to figure out what they're gonna do with the next Black Panther. So I guess they kind of need. They this, already right? did. They, they got did. the script. They're oh. supposed to start shooting soon. How this is, this is gonna come out Panther. first, or no? This probably won't come out first. This will probably twenty twenty five. Are they gonna bring back Michael B. Jordan? Yeah. No, he's dead. He died no, in the first like, one. He got they killed. Could, they could like bring him back another way. Morgan, he's dead on a rock. He got that doesn't stabbed. Matter. That doesn't matter. We watched he him die. He bled out on a boulder. Okay, yeah, and half the universe got turned out of existence, and they're back. Yeah, because that, that was a separate incident. Michael history. B. Jordan has to go make Creed 3. It's important. <laughs> he okay. has to... To have Warner Brothers go, do you want to play Superman? This is going to be a really movie? short episode. No, we'll just spend a lot of time talking about random stuff once okay. we finish the docket. That, Michael oh, Jordan? Oh, if you don't know this, we're very, we're very obviously trying to keep these random rants going. Yeah, we're just spiraling here. Okay. <laughs> I like Michael B. Jordan. Our goal is to get to at least 45 no! minutes. No! No, <laughs> stop it! Morgan! Don't hit the table! Didn't mean to. You're bad at your job of this not doing the make the microphone, microphone goal. Why is this disc orange? Just make the screen shake. No, no, show the camera. The, the disc for the game is orange. It this should be terrible. Blue it's because the Olympics are orange. But they're both of them. <laughs> <right. laughs> yeah, both they. Of, both you've never seen the Olympics where they paint every athlete orange, and that's the gimmick. <laughs> both Sonic and Mario's trademark colors are blue and red, and they went with orange. Well, look, <laughs> it's the same color as the track. Let me see. That's it. true. Maybe that's <laughs> what they were going for. Place in Beijing. Also, in what scenario would Sonic not win a race against, like a foot race against Mario? Never. The one where they Mario had legs. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. If Mario had a fire flower and set him on fire and then ran. So he would no. have to do like Robin in that episode of Teen Titans Go where, where he, he breaks back and like flash in the kneecap with a stick before the race. <laughs> Looks like no, he just gets the, the, the next thing on the docket is movie news. We got uh, old. a trailer for M. Night Shyamalan's Old. It looks so bad. in this movie, there's a beach, and when you get, go to it, you, you turn old. You that's get older. And, and, then, the and then you die, and then you That'd might be also Morgan get Morgan has a deathly fear of being an old man. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I, which is why he never this is gonna yeah. be the, This is going to be the scariest movie he's ever seen. I'm going to go, I'm going to sell my soul to a painting or whatever. Oh no, my worst fear. Aging. Fastly. 
That's a good joke. <laughs> you should use that again. Max, this is why, the, this is why you're our head writer. I don't know. That's <laughs> the, the quality the, of comedy. The movie is already looking I just very in the night Shyamalan so post, yeah. post Unbreakable. <laughs> My new favorite memory with this film is when we went to go see A Quiet Place last night and the people in front of us were watching the trailer and kind of enjoying it. And then the part where it says from N. Night Shyamalan comes up and they all audibly the, groan. The, there were three people behind us who were like, oh no. <laughs> all the people in front of us had like entire bottles of wine. So it just smelled like wine the whole time. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? They all had, they all had like bottles of wine. This is why he's not allowed this to This is a podcast. truthful statement. Okay? But what does it have to do with what we're talking I'm just about? Saying. Okay, okay. They like wine and don't like shabu <laughs> But yeah, so there's the the, the the look the premise of the movie is there's a beach mom found on Travago. Craigslist. Or Craigslist or something. A Craigslist. How do you find a beach on Craigslist? And then they go there and there's a corpse Selling like in the beach. water. And then the corpse decays really fast and they're like, How did a corpse decay so fast? It should take seven years. Even though it takes like not that long. No, are, are you a corpse? To fully decay. It, it takes, takes like two years. weeks. No, it takes multiple weeks in a dry, or it takes multiple years in a dry environment. They're on a beach. If you left a corpse in the beach, it would it be gone like in a few months. I think it like turned to bones. Yeah, and that's like, not it important. Bones, it was, it was completely like... decayed. That's, none of that's important. Anyways, there was a corpse there, and then it decayed fast, and then the, the little kid turns into an adult man. Uh, he's like a young adult man. Yeah, and then the mom's like, "What happened to my baby? Play my baby's Zuko. a man now." Played by Zuko from yeah, the live action that? Avatar film. Okay, but yeah, but he was in other stuff, right? I, I don't him know him from anything else. He's Zuko. Okay, what's his name? Oh wait, was Guy. he in um? What's his name? I don't know. Was he in? Not in yesterday. What was he in? Uh, yeah, I was thinking. He, he looks kind of like the guy from yesterday, but I don't. He's not. What's his name? Oh, maybe know. he Alex was in that Wolf? movie about is it? Uh, Alex Wolf. the guy who listens yes. to music. Yes. Not yesterday, shows. but a different. Oh, oh, the, the, the he was in Jumanji. He was in oh, Hereditary. Oh, he was in. Uh, oh, I didn't see. He, he was the, in both he Jumanjis. Was, he's the main character in the real world. In Jumanji. Oh, he was in Hereditary. Jumanji. Apparently, that's where I that's Hereditary. what I recognize him from. Hereditary. Okay, my friend Dahmer. He was in that. What's oh, that? that's the movie about that dude who meets people. Yeah, old. He's an old. He's a serial killer who eats people. In real life, that actually happened. Why does he happened. do that? That's not very nice. He's, he's dead now. That's probably like yeah. sexual desire. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> this podcast is not about discussing the psychological. When they got into his house, we they will not become like, a true crime found, podcast. They found heads in his fridge. We went from Listen, sonics guys, to cannibals. There is an overabundance of two podcasts: stuff like this and true crime. And we gotta pick one. We can't do both. Just any time I have a guest, you'll do the other one. No. We'll become a true crime podcast. <laughs> <Yeah. guess. laughs> All right, Morgan's here. Let's talk about serial killers. So, uh, fan, the Phantom Killer. Uh... Dahmer in high school, he'd pretend to have seizures. Right. Like, like to get sympathy. Like Henry. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're talking about Henry. We're either. kind of the next, <laughs> young, like, the next You have to cut this out. Okay. I'm not Why? Cut no, we just, just don't say last names. Nobody will know. Say, the only people who watch the are people we know. Well, nobody but even those story. people are older than New Henry. Like all the people that still watch our show didn't weren't there for Henry. Uh, they, they missed an era. <laughs> they missed an era. <laughs> all right. Um, we got Joker two. And, oh, Joker two. Co-written by the original director and also <coughs> Todd Phillips, who's uh, who's the original director. Then what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's being written by Todd Phillips and, and co-written, co-written by, by also Todd Phillips. Original movie director. And okay, so obviously what happened here is when Sam was typing it into the thing. I was probably typing that at like 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, don't to listen to Sam. So the original director and Todd Phillips. So <laughs> the original director <laughs> Todd Phillips has cloned himself. <laughs> <laughs> he made another Todd Phillips. And so, that that made him it. so that they can both share writing the script to Joker 2. <laughs> no, he had a son. No, one of them goes by the director of Joker, and the other one goes by Todd Phillips. <laughs> Uh, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm the director of the movie Joker. <laughs> What's this your name? The director of the movie Joker. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. Uh, so Todd Phillips? No. Who else would write it? Like, Obviously, it's just got to be him. Okay. And then no, what, this what article movie? says Joker, Todd Phillips reportedly backed a co-write script, but it doesn't say That's what we just they, said. They don't yeah, but who's who's writing. co-write with who? With himself. In Joker 2? <laughs> no, I don't think With the Joker, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because, like, 
He's gonna start it, and then they're gonna find something. Yeah. Is the okay. Joker gonna go crazy? So he's gonna write like a story more? treatment, and I don't, I don't, I don't think do he it. wants to direct it either. I don't think anyone wants there to be a second one except for the studio. Phoenix yeah, what do you make? Like, what do you do? Joaquin Phoenix wants do? there to be a second He's one so he can shoot get more paid. People. He didn't get paid much for the first one, I thought. But they're going to pay him way more for this one because the first one made a billion dollars. It is the most profitable movie ever made. Yeah. Okay, so what about, uh, what is Moon Knight? Oh. oh that's funny. Moon Knight is one of the best Marvel comic book characters of all time. Oh, Moon Knight, Moon Knight, okay. I'm gonna I mean, ride his Knight. hype train to the moon because I knew about Moon Knight yeah, before yeah. they made this show. It's on camera. I know what it is. Oh, so Just Oscar like with Isaac. Deadpool, because I guarantee you the same thing that happened with Deadpool is about to happen with Moon Knight. He's gonna be all over the all over the place Moon on t-shirts. Cool. So basically, basically, Oscar Isaac is in the Disney system, and so we just get cast yeah. in all the Disney stuff. But this Moon Knight, is a real frame from a, a Moon Knight. Yeah, I've seen that. Let I've me seen see. That. Moon Knight is this the one talking about Dracula. Doesn't he have like an identity disorder? <laughs> no. So okay, no one actually knows if he has superpowers or not, or if he's just insane, or if he's just a crazy person who doesn't care if he dies. So he's like Joker Batman. Think like yeah, think like Batman, but like. He thinks. If, imagine if Batman was so deluded he thought he had superpowers. So where's this gonna go? Because this Disney this, Plus. This is not Disney Plus. This is gonna Plus be a Disney friendly. Plus show. Yeah, I think once this like the only him, like, Oscar Isaac um, will be playing. Yeah, but this is like for older group, art? right? Are they just gonna still? So this seems like no, a Hulu they're, they're type. Gonna, thing. It'll be. It'll, don't worry. It'll be nice and Disney. Oh, no, they're gonna Disney the, They'll Moon just Knight. kill people off screen. No, he's not gonna kill anyone. Yeah, he, he doesn't kill really... people. Why does everyone think every Marvel, every superhero has got to murder everyone now? That's Sam, not that's, that's, Moon Knight. that's dark and edgy. Moon Knight doesn't. Uh, he did kill Deadpool one time, but other than that, he, he doesn't do really Deadpool? murder people. He's doesn't one of the only. He's one disorder. of the only Marvel characters does that it, successfully yeah, killed yeah. Deadpool. So Moon Knight has a psychology. Has like a weird identity disorder. He thinks he got his powers from uh, the Egyptian moon god. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Um, which he may or may not have. He has his other identity. He is, just doesn't know. So he has one identity who's like him as a normal guy, and his other identity is basically just Moon Knight, who's like an insane man who thinks he's Batman, and his powers but are... But this is Marvel. This Imagine is if Shazam, like but instead of he turns into an adult, he just turns into a crazy person. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but if Mr. Hyde was like just a dude. So um, if he does like have powers, he has... Uh, uh, supreme, sh he has advanced strength, like super. Strength. He has like Captain America powers. He has basically. like Captain America powers. Is but the thing still going? Yeah, it's still recording. No, okay. the, the, the camera. The camera. Camera. Oh, Ooh, let's check. Dude, it must be hard uh -oh. to keep that nope. screen. Darn. Oh. I don't know why it stopped recording. Does it look like it's recording on there? It's recording now. Uh, How much did we? Yeah, lose? we lost all that. But uh, did we ever start recording? Yeah, no, I started it. Okay, well, we lost all my audio. Well, Tucker will just be less loud. For That's a while. just done. Wait, so how much did we lose? I don't know. Well, however much that was, probably twenty minutes. No, no. But it, I just checked it a few seconds ago. We lost maybe a couple minutes. We'll just put the logo up for that. So part. Moon Knight's coming. Uh, I was rooming for a long time, and Oscar Isaac was doing it. Or wait, we can just. You want to just like restart this part, and we can just cut that out. Okay. All right. Moon Knight. We're talking about Moon Knight. Oh wait, I don't Moon actually Knight. know when it actually stopped recording though. Well, it's fine. We'll just keep we'll it. Just we'll just we're getting this is all staying in. No one will know. Yeah. This no is all staying in. Well, no one will know. So it was your one friend who watches the show will know. <laughs> For so, our audio listeners. Right, right, you're here. Uh, audio if, listeners won't notice. Well, yeah. actually, they will. If you made it to this part of the podcast, type Morgan hates Moon Knight in the comments below. I despise him. <laughs> I hate Moon Knight. So, uh, so the Wait, thing Morgan looks like a Disney villain. Which so, one? I don't Cruella. know. All of them. Cruella. <laughs> Cruella, but if, if Cruella was hair. gender bent and had not, that didn't really change anything. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I can't dye half of my hair on command, okay? <laughs> now you're just flopping around. Just yeah. flip it back. Just flip it up. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, so the thing with Moon Knight was is we knew the show was coming. It was there. Now it looks like it. Yeah. We knew that the show was coming. It was not like three years ago. Uh, it was rumored that Oscar Isaac was going to be Moon Knight, but it wasn't confirmed. But the news last week was that it's confirmed to be him. There was some talk that he couldn't do it because there was scheduling conflicts with uh, him being Solid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid movie. But it looks like they worked those out. So he will be Moon Knight in the show that I think is supposed to come out next year. Yeah, I think it's supposed to come out like late next year. I know he started... Uh, they haven't started shooting, but they had, he has started doing like his training for it. So That's cool. Well, he's probably doing training did for we, both. Yeah. Did we talk about the Snake Eyes movie... Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. You were gone. 
and also Snake because Eyes. Because apparently you're always here, Max. Uh, I try to be, but... No, you don't. Yes, I do. You no, literally you walk in, you're like, oh, you're doing the podcast, and then walk out. <laughs> yeah, because you guys started without me. Because I was. Because the, you... I had to go to the scout meeting. Okay. I always show up whenever I'm invited. Tucker just skipped the scout meeting. Because he was like, I have work to do. That's what you said. This is a real job, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but last time I actually had stuff to do. With it was finals week. Stuff. It was finals week. Uh, I, finals I week. Patrick, give you your MacBook charger. Mm-hmm. Can I plug my computer in? This is a this is a laid back podcast. So, I suppose. Those finals week. No one watches this. Anymore. It's let me guess. This is a more laid back. No. Ah. This is the calm before the storm of E three. This is a yeah. This is honestly this is the chill episode. This is the chill episode. Because in the next few months we got E three. Oh. Maybe if I don't know what Comic Con is this year, it may or may not happen. We well, and there's also like the reach. Yeah. And um. Yeah. DC Fandome is in October. Why is it Fandome? I don't understand. What is a Fandome? Because they're in a dome and it's a Fandome. <laughs> we trapped them all in right? a dome. Yeah, they're, they're in Fandom in a dome. What, what dome? Like the, the dome, Patrick. Patrick. Did you the watch dome. the Simpsons movie the where they they all get trapped in a dome? Max, like just that. shut Max, up. No one has seen read? any of the Simpsons anything other than Did you here. read the book The Dome by Stephen King where they're trapped inside of a dome? Did you see that movie that was like a knockoff of Bill and Ted but they're living inside a dome? Did you see the Simpsons no, okay, movie? Next week. Let's hey, keep talking about domes that. for no yeah, reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, remember hey, you guys don't criticize Morgan for talking about the Simpsons. Okay, next yeah. news. We got, uh... That's because he, he, we invited him. Guys, we got business news. <laughs> you guys, we got business news. Oh, I love it. We got business news. So, a movie did well, so not really, like, compared to other things, not really. <laughs> well, what, wait, what movie? What, what a movie Quiet Place 2 made oh. $48 million dollars on its opening. Weekend. Which, which is the me. best of the pandemic, which so is, far is that like Corella. what's that? How's that compared to other things? Uh, what did Demon, what did, look up what Demon Slayer did? That's the only other one I think that actually did anything and like, like all my at all. Saw Demon Slayer. That's because it's good. Yeah, that and Tenet. Those are like the only three movies that came out. It came out last year. I like Tenet. Uh, it, made 20 million. Million. Oh, and it made twenty one million. It made twenty one million. Yeah. So okay. God, so Godzilla vs Kong was the highest up to this point. It made I think forty million. And the thing with The Quiet Place Part 2 is if you look at most news article websites, it'll say 57 million, because that's the four-day. Yeah. Because usually in holiday weekends, they count the fourth day, because... Because it's a holiday everyone, weekend. Everyone has those movies on holiday weekends. So, it's 57 million for the four-day, which I believe is more than even the first one made in its opening weekend, which is I mean, really good sense. for the pandemic. Obviously... Cruella made 33.5 yeah. million. And Cruella That's did, pretty crazy. Cruella did 33. It was a big weekend for the box office. How, what did Mulan do? Well, like, can, I mean, our theater was, like, in... Our, our theater... Yeah, it was us. It was us four, and then one, a guy and his daughter in the Cruella back. Cruella did okay, but A Quiet Place Part 2, when we went to that with theater, it was packed. Yeah, that yeah. was full. So that Mulan, was, that was Mulan weird, ended I, up making 33.5 million. All right, so they're about the weekend. same. Yeah. We haven't been to like a But Cruella had movie competition movie. that week. But that was yeah. just from Disney Plus subscribers. Yeah. yeah, and Cruella had like real movies also out at the same time. Yeah, so uh, obviously. Quiet Place Part 2. Yeah. We're, so we're slowly getting back. The real test of the box office is what, how big the drop okay. is. What was, like a, what was like a weekend normally, you know, on a, like a non-COVID times? What do you mean? Like, like what, what, what would it have done if COVID wasn't a thing? Yeah. I don't know. What was? Uh, that, I mean, that's what like did um, can't what did Cars two? What did Maleficent do? Yeah, yeah. That, that would be that's the closest a, that's comparison. A good question. That'd be the closest comparison. To what? To Cruella. To Cruella. But the Quiet Place, Place Part Two, sixty nine point four million. Okay. So, so we're so. still pretty far behind. I mean, we can assume there was a couple people who got it on Premier Access, so now we'll bump that up to You'll add another five million. Well, if Mulan made all its money just on Premiere Access, we can yeah. assume they made probably a good... Well, but Mulan is a much more popular IP than that random villain from that Disney movie that barely but, anyone watched. I think, had, I think more, more, no one more people were excited for Cruella than the Mulan. No, I think Mulan had way more hype. It's just when it came out, people realized it was oh, not good. Back. Yeah. There was, no it there was have, way more hype for Mulan. Didn't have Emma Stone. It's like, what, 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 so what are you, why are you staring at the There's more... In he's my, got depression in now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's, he's got like, trauma from launching Cruella. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. We, we, I, I we can talk about, we'll talk about it later. Let's we'll just talk about it now. No, the, okay, so well, that that was was the We won't do the review, news. just like the first impression. That was the with, last news. The so things with the box offices, um, obviously we're slowly getting back to yeah. some kind of normal. Uh, Quiet Place Part 2, I say, is like, it's been the only theatrical release so far that was exclusively theatrical. 
Godzilla vs. Kong was did a fairly good opening, but it was also on HBO Max. And uh, Krill was also on Disney Plus. So yeah. A lot of movies have had dual release. We won't know The Quiet Place 2 um, until next week because the percentage of the drop off is how really how well it's doing. Yeah. Do movies have legs or is it all opening weekend and then they fail? No, it's probably. I think some people will trickle in, but if it was as dead as it was when we were there, like. If the it was as dead this, for Krill. Well, we also saw it at like. 10 a.m. Yeah, that's or like oh, 11 a.m. And we saw on like, it a, on like a Friday. On like a, yeah. And we didn't see it in XD. No, we saw it on Thursday. Yeah. No, Do we see it on Thursday? Yeah. Because we, we, no, we, we saw it on Friday. No, no it was a Friday. Because I worked. So it was a Friday. Yeah, we saw it on a Friday after. No, but that's why we saw it at 11. It's it a Friday yeah, remember? Because you left right after to go to work. Yeah, it was a Friday. Was okay, Friday. yeah, yeah. That's like not. Yeah, because I went to the skate room. Yeah. So it was a Friday morning at 11 when people worked and also. Tommy's watching Cruella. So, um. So yeah, so combine if you combine the totals of both movies, that's about eighty or ninety million dollars in the box office right now. In terms no, of it was like fifty. One Spike Widow. No, if you combine them, over. I know that's your general. There's other money. movies though. That's your oh, general. Other movies. Sure. Yeah. Combine money. How many people are willing to go pay to see a movie right now? Zero people. Ninety million dollars worth. And I don't, I don't think Canada has any other movies open, so the domestic total... I think Canada's vote. still in lockdown. I think they are too. Oh, well, did yeah. you see that a they big, just recently uh, voted to movie. indefinitely suspend elections? In where? <clears throat> Canada. That's cool, Canada. Well, how do you do that? Isn't that called communism? You just decide. Because no, Justin decide. Trudeau did blackface. Communism is an economic is... system, not a political okay. system. So isn't that That's shit? good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> are they going to do any type of elections? Maybe one day. We'll see. Anyways, <laughs> the candidates are all Is there an gone. amplifier for that guitar? No. Do you have anything you for that guitar? You can't play guitar, Morgan. Well, Morgan. he can just strum on it in the background with no you amplifier. You want to go do background noise? Oh, uh, they <laughs> added. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about they, they added. He knows Death how to Stroke play guitar. Yeah, I know. We already talked about this like three weeks ago, Max. I don't know. What's I didn't the... know. No, what? You didn't talk about Deathstroke. Yes, yeah, we, we did. did. We did weekly Fortnite news last week. Bro, you need to. Oh wait, do we have any weekly Fortnite news? We're not at the last one. Shut up, shut up. Everyone shut up. What's in the crew pack so we can do weekly the Fortnite news? Mecha, Mecha Cuddle Bear person. Cool, cool. All right. Um, oh, the voice of Tanjiro narrated the trailer for it. and The trailer for what? For for the crew pack. Who's Tanjiro? Thing. From Demon Slayer. The anime. Okay, well, we got some guys. We got some guy some was like, guys, they might have Tanjiro because he's the voice. I'm like, no. No. It's just, it doesn't make sense. Guys, we got some actual good stuff. We, we're going to talk about do our first impressions of Cruella. And then we also have... Oh, we have Bad Batch to talk about. Yeah, we have, we Bad, have, Bad, we have Batch. Bad Batch, our oh, reviews see. for each episode by episode. So big Wait, well, it's not over yet. We just I know, have a new one. We're just going to talk about it. And uh, <clears throat> maybe everyone here except for Patrick saw A Quiet Place 2. What? When did you go see A Quiet Place Yesterday. 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 Well, Yesterday. I was Last home. Oh, we probably shouldn't invite Well, we Patrick. said that we were going to see it. We told you well when we were here. because we were What here time did you get off work? Yeah, you were at work. Yeah. No, we were We went at 7. We were like done. Fine. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it was the last showing in the theater. That's what well, we You never saw the first one. No, I saw it before we went. Oh, so how, how was the second one? They were they're they're good. The good movie. Good they're good basically the, the same. One. Okay. All right, let's start off with Cruella talk. Um, obviously, everyone here, but Morgan saw Cruella. It's about Morgan, do you the, care if we? Kind, it's not even. It's, it's, not gonna watch it's it. the Disney villain <laughs> who skins dogs. So it was revealed in the Cruella movie that she hates Dalmatians because Dalmatians killed her mom. Spoiler alert. That's not a joke. Probably should have put spoilers <laughs> for that. Wait, We're sorry. <laughs> we got to talk about uh, what was her what was her real name? Uh, Estella. 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 Oh. Don't be. That was so don't cringy. Like Cruella. Okay, out. it's okay in the first one because we didn't know she had a normal name. So we're just like, oh, she's mean, her name's Cruella. That makes sense. But the fact that she had a normal name and then actively chose to change it to Cruella, like a toddler who's coming up with an alter she ego. She, she has, like, yeah. multiple personalities. Well, no, no, her so mom came up with the name Cruella to describe her, her like, crazy mom. side, no, her, her to stepmom. To describe her being... It's not a stepmom, it's like her, her adopted... Yeah. Well, if it's a nickname, someone else calls her. That sounds, like, weird. Yeah, no, but then but she adopts it and turns it into her whole personality. She, right. it's like she a has, like, two personalities. Didn't the Zodiac Killer give himself his nickname? Yes. Nor and turning this into a two guy <laughs> Okay, well... Welcome well, to part one of seven cool. of our Zodiac Killer discussion. <laughs> so, Guys, do you think it's Ted Cruz? <laughs> <laughs> Ted, so, uh, Ted Cruz? So, we're gonna decipher this letters. Okay, so, then, uh... 
you want to go through the whole story? So yeah, I'll do my synopsis. Uh, okay, so yeah, open, it's like, well, okay, remember yeah, to take kidding. your mic off. So it's opening, and it's like young Cruella, and, and she goes in, to school, and she's in primary and she she finds a dog. She's in primary school, and she wears a jacket inside out, and so a dude's like, hey, look at this idiot wearing a jacket inside out. And then she throws him off a bridge. Well, like a stairwell into a dump. Or no, does she get thrown into a she dump? Just yeah, into she dump gets thrown into a dump. That's where she finds her. Yeah, and then she finds dog. her rat dog in the dump, and then the rat dog sort of follows her around. And then for some reason, someone threw out a dog in the dumpster behind a school for some reason. Yeah, because that just have happens. Done worse, dude. And oh, the, yeah, but and then you go, you and her mom's like, taking her out of school because yeah, she got expelled. But but sort, sort of. of. Okay. And then they but go to. Good, they so. go to London, but before they go to London, they go to, was it like Hel- Helen Manor? Hel- 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 Helman Manor. Helman Manor. Helman's Manning's. Yeah. Hel- yeah. Hel- yeah, no, Helman <laughs> Hall. Hel- That's what it was. Yeah. And so they go to Helman Hall, and the mom is asking this, like, bald dude for money. No, no, no. no. She, she asked. Asking, no, no, no. She was asking the bald dude. The old, the, the old lady didn't know she was there. Oh, yeah. And when she found out, when the old lady found out she was there, she was like, Dalmatians, uh, throw her off a bridge. Oh, and then the Dalmatians... We don't know that yet. Yeah. No, the the, Shit, stop. the um, adopted mother think, was yeah. begging the Baroness. No, she wasn't. No, no. A, no. Yeah, she was. No, she wasn't. Estella thinks. The Baroness that. wanted the daughter dead. Why would she go to the Baroness and be like, can I have money for your daughter? Okay. No, but stop. she was begging Everybody her stop. on the side no, of the no, I'm trying to go through they it. Drive to the, they drive to the men. They drive to Hellman Hall. So that the adoptive mom can talk to Mark Strong from the movie Greenland. The butler guy. The butler guy. I believe I think he's the chauffeur. But she's talking to him so that they can discuss finances, so that they can move, to, so that the adoptive mom and Estella can move to London and not in, be in the Baroness's way. Yeah. But then uh, somehow the mom the Baroness finds and her. the mom find her, and they go to the balcony to talk. And then uh, Stella and her rat dog cause a bunch of mayhem in inside the fashion the, store. No, no, they're inside the house. Oh, inside with, the house. And there was like a fashion display going on. And the Dalmatians chase her outside. And you think that the Dalmatians were chasing Estella and accidentally ran up and to knock the mom her off adopted the mom, knocked her off a cliff. Later in the film, it is revealed that the Baroness was actually using a dog whistle and sticking the dog on the lady so that they could push her off. you find out yeah. she's like a crazy murderer and yeah. tries to kill people. Anyways, and but then Estella escapes that's because fine. she runs and jumps into a car, which is a reference to the original film because that's how the Dalmatians escape. Yeah. That's not important. And then they drive to London, which conveniently is only a fountain, because that's all they could afford for the budget. And the film. she meets. Uh, she meets some other. Uh, she meets rag the chair. She, she meets, meets some child actors. Yeah. The ragtag gang of young. And they children. live in like an abandoned factory. Fat kid and skinny kid meet the girl. Yeah. And so they live in an abandoned factory for a while, then and, uh, jump to ten years later. And, and they're, 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 out. they're like yeah. petty thieves. Yeah, they're yeah. they're running they're running crimes, and then With the uh, help of their dogs who do most of the work. Yeah. Yeah. And then the tall one is like, hey, I stole you this job at this fashion store as a janitor. And she's like, thank you very much. How do you steal a job? Don't worry about it. Then <laughs> she goes to work it, as a janitor. And then she's like scrubbing the floors. And she's like, hey, can I make a dress? And they're like, no, you're an idiot. And then she's scrubbing the floors. And she's like, hey, can I make a dress? And they're like, no, no, just go clean the floors. And that, that keeps going on and for a while. And she gets drunk and makes a dress in the display yeah. case. And, and it just so happens that the Baroness is walking in. And she's the fancy <clears throat> fashion lady. And, and she's twist. looking at the store. She likes the Stop. dress. I'm not... I'll get there. This is anyway, she goes in there. She's talking to the like the manager. Owner, the manager of the store. And then he, the manager at the same time is like trying to fire Cruella because she got drunk and messed up their display. And she slept in the window. Yeah. And then the Baroness is like, that's the only dress in this whole store I like, even though I made all of them. I am taking her, and we're going to go do dresses together. <laughs> and, then, and then they do. They go and then, do uh, and then uh, for some reason, the Devil Wears Prada plays for like its entirety. No, no, you find out that the, the Baroness knows her adopted mother. Because they had the same... Because she, the mom had a necklace that the Baroness is now wearing because she Because killed. the adopted mother stole it from the Baroness, gave it to her kid, but then the kid dropped it on the floor when they were escaping. And the Baroness the found it again on the floor. And the Baroness found it again on the floor and put it on, and then that's when Cruella, I mean, Estella at this point, not Cruella yet, discovers that that lady was the one who killed her mom, and also discovered that she did it intentionally and has killed multiple people. That's and right. then that's when she decides to become Cruella. Who then uh, does a bunch of havoc? Like, who revenge, sort of becomes like a fashion vigilante female character? Joker. And that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, sort of like the, the female joke. <laughs> 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 
This is where the movie goes like off the rails. It's kind of like really weird from this. Yeah, she becomes like a. Uh, I wouldn't say it goes off the rails. It just gets really repetitive. Yeah. Thirty minutes. For yeah, so for about thirty minutes, she's like crashing fashion shows and then like taking over. There uh, a lot of montages. There was there was like maybe three or four. Montages. Then that concludes with a pop they're punk long. performance yeah, by her and her friend who is a knockoff of David Bowie. After they have kidnapped the Baroness. Oh yeah. Are we, are we gonna talk about the? Uh, I want to see him because the Baroness. Is he dogs. literally just looks like David Bowie, but like just oh, the, get, like the Walmart oh, the, version. Uh, the guy who runs the fashion. Yeah, store. Walmart David I, Bowie. Artie. Walmart David Bowie. What was his name? Artie. Artie. Because yeah. art. Like art. Yeah, because <laughs> it rhymes with Bowie. That's why. No, and that the Dalmatians, the Dalmatians eat the necklace that oh, yeah, she no, discovered steal, with her mom. Yeah, so they steal the Dalmatians. The, yeah, and then her friends steal the Dalmatians so that they can poop out the necklace later. And then for a minute, you think she skinned the Dalmatians, and made it. But she didn't because but it's a did, Disney movie. Because she's a Disney. But then the Baroness. She did, then right? the Baroness finds her house and ties her to a chair and tries to throws her friends in jail and tries to burn her alive. But the chauffeur, somehow without the Baroness knowing, then, um, yeah, then uh, pulls Sinestro... her out of the fire and takes her to his apartment. Yes. Where they it's revealed that he has the box that has her birth certificate. certificate in it, and the necklace has, which he also got somehow, uh, has the key that it's unlocks it. Which is like, why would the Baroness keep that? I don't, yeah, they don't explain that. <laughs> okay, but then you find out the Baroness is is her real is mom. Her real mom. Then she busts her friends out of prison with a dump truck. <laughs> and she just got somehow in disguise even though she just crashes it into the prison and then just they just jump into it and then yeah. she takes off the disguise and she's like hey guys it's me and then and she's then like my mom have... is evil and they're hey, like oh well I guess we'll forgive you well, for all that, that terrible sense. stuff you did and then they do an epic heist and frame well not really frame send the Baroness to jail do they ever say her name okay. no, no it's just the Baroness but okay no, but so she, gets, uh, she throws there's the Baroness is throwing this elaborate party to celebrate the fact that Cruella is gone, right? Because yeah. at this point, she thinks she burned her alive in the fire. No, it was like no, her it was spring. to mourn her. Yeah. And then, it was originally just supposed and to be a spring thing. But Cruella they... pulls off this elaborate plan where she gets everyone in the party to dress up as her so that the Baroness doesn't notice in. that she... Yeah, so then she sneaks in, and then she puts on her, like, Estella outfit, stands at the edge of the cliff. The Baroness goes over and tries to push her off the cliff, succeeds... But it turns out she was wearing a Batman-style parachute. Parachutes into a boat, lands at the bottom. Everyone in the party was watching her push her over the and edge. Estella is dead now. And Estella is dead. And then and only Cruella exists. Now. And it and they reveal that because Estella was the daughter of the Baroness, she technically would inherit the estate and all the money if the Baroness were to die or go to but jail. Estella, but since Estella yeah. is now dead, she transferred all of her funds to her friend Cruella, who conveniently looks like the exact same person. And lives in the same and place. And lives in the same house. And, and I guess has the same, same social security so number. And has all the same friends. Does she just uh, do fraud, basically. Yes. She just committed fraud. How did she commit fraud? Oh, well, she made up a new identity oh, and then and gave oh, a bunch of money wow. to it. Horace, what's well, the name of the guy? Her old identity. And then also faked her death, which is also. Oh, and then uh, oh, and for the whole movie, uh, Nita from the original 101 Dalmatians is her friend who works for the newspaper. That's not important. But um, just kind of there. Oh yeah. Whatever yeah. criminal sidekicks finds a car that has the license plate Devil on it, oh, and then my whatever God. goes, actually, it's pronounced Deville. And at the end of the film. Goes, I'm Krella Deville. And then and then the guy comes because... up and he goes, but it's spelled devil. And everyone's like, thank you. Thank that no, was necessary. So it really has those Han Solo vibes. Yeah. And then and then at the end of the movie. <laughs> and at the end of the movie, they move into the big house and the thing that says Hellman, the man part of Hellman comes off and says Hell Hall. Like Which in, is the name of the Well, like in the original yeah. film. And then they, they hang, out, hang out in the house and they go, all right, what are we doing next? And then she goes, I have ideas. And then it goes, I have plans for a sequel. And then the movie ends. And, no, and then there's a post credit <laughs> scene. And that one guy is like, please don't kill people or dogs, please. And she goes, we'll, we'll see. We'll, I'll think about it. We'll see. <laughs> and then there's a post credit scene where it's revealed that uh, Pongo and the female dog from the original 101 Dalmatians were sent to both Anita and uh, Henry, who was the who was the ex lawyer for the who Baroness. Who was the ex lawyer for the Baroness, who became a musician, which is how he started off in the original. And he also Dalmatians. wrote the Cruella de Vil song from the original movie, which is in the original film. He does that, but he does it later on. Yeah. Um, and then it turns out that the two dogs that they have, which were completely separate, and even though they had never met before, <laughs> were actually sent to both of them by Cruella de Vil as part of her evil plan to have them meet by chance, have fifteen puppies exactly, so that she. Could 
kidnap them and skin them, even though before in the film she said she would never do that. Stop do you get the it? Table. Is it fine? You get what you know what's going Every on now? Every time the microphone shakes, you should make the whole video shake. Well, it used to when we had the camera on the table. Okay. All right. Did you get all that? I'm everyone, I mean, you get all that more. Okay. Just 20 so minutes. what are what are our thoughts? Though? That was the I Spartan. Think Emma too. Stone looks really good. Yeah. Um, well, it's the cast is really good. I mean, I didn't have any complaints about it's the cast. It's well casted. I think it's well directed. It's, it's well directed. Yeah, with the exception of the child actors, fairly, it's fairly well acted. Fair, as well. well, and child actors. They're really in it for like. Child actors aren't like it's hard to find. The girl, the still, the one that was playing Estella was really good. She was good. And then the other two were. There was just a lot of cringy moments. Anytime she said, I'm Cruella, that was yeah. the cringiest I thing ever. I feel the, the, the script had some issues. Yeah. Um, I think the other, the, she says Cruella, she goes, the other biggest Cruella. problem was the music. There's just so much like 70s pop. There's a lot of 70s song, pop. And, they, and they're just playing, con there's barely any orchestrated score, if you notice. It's mostly, pop, it's all pop songs. And the, they don't know how to do audio transitions either. Like, it'll know. just fade out randomly mm -hmm. in the middle of a scene. Right. I, th I thought that was so weird. It was really, it was really jarring. Just for the music to just, like, stop in the middle of a scene. Wait, I'm like, oh, I guess we're done? Okay. Song that we can't <laughs> no, they would stop a song, and then there'd be, like, four lines of dialogue, and then a new one would start. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's there was too much pop music. I think the movie is too long. It was like two. Like two, two hours. Yeah, there were a lot of scenes. I think they could have done without. Yeah, there was the entire the second act just drags forever. The yeah. relationship between Cruella and the tall guy is kind of like nondescript yeah. and strange. Yeah. Like really? at one point he's like, "Hey," uh, or she's like, "Hey, I like you," and he goes, "Uh huh," and she's like, "Yeah, I really like you," and he's like, "Okay," and then they never address it again. I think, I think that's a joke. I think that's supposed to be a joke. Well, no, it was like supposed to be well, a serious land. scene. They were like sitting on the building, like rooftop, talking about their feelings. Yeah. And he was like, "Okay, yeah, that's yeah. supposed to be a joke." It was just, it was really weird. So, yeah, I think the the biggest problem is that the first act takes a while to get going, and then because the second act is the one loaded with the most content, script wise. Table. it like makes the mics go. It's the, boom, boom. Boom. It's the you most. You need a pop. You need a, you need a, one of these. No. Patrick. What are, you, what are you doing? Squishing it. Okay. <laughs> because the second act has the one loaded with the most like character yeah. stuff and plot stuff, the first act, which takes a while to get to the second act, is what really makes the movie go longer than it needs to be. Yeah. The first act, the children part. The first yeah. act is mostly children's stuff. You and don't then need that. All the stuff leading up to her starting to work for the Baroness is all the first act. It's just set up. It just takes super long. Like the whole bit where she's mopping floors, all that is just set up to get. To the, to the part where she starts working for the Baroness, which should have just been the start. We should have skipped that whole bit where she's mopping floors. Yeah, because if she frauded her way into being a janitor, she could have just frauded yeah. her way into working directly for yeah. the Baroness. No, but it needs to be that she's good at dressmaking. Yeah, yeah they need to establish that she is good at taping papers just... to a dress. They which, by the way, is how she makes the She just stitches a bunch of newspapers to the side of a dress, and that's the dress yeah. that gets her It noticed. did not look good, good at all. all. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think it's terrible. I think it's that just fine. Okay. It's You'll as, watch it it's once watchable. and then never again. Yeah. It is as good as it could have possibly been for the premise. It's much darker than most other Disney films. I kind of want to watch it. Which is it's good. Things, I mean, it was a nice change of pace. not just saying it's dark. No, I, but like, there's lot. murder in it. Yeah. I think you should watch it. I'm going to watch, watch it. And yeah, what is, it? is it on Disney Plus? It's on Disney Plus for $30. It was funny it's when the mom. Like it was kind of funny when the mom <laughs> gets pushed off the cliff and it's this really crappy CGI model and it's kind of <laughs> flailing. That looks kind of stupid. I thought that yeah, was. No, oh, yeah, no. The biggest shock to me was like I looked up the budget. It was like two hundred million dollars. It's because of the. Like, it does not look like that much. Well, no. It's like, just because of the. the oh, program. and if uh, if you love CGI dolls. Oh my god. You're gonna love. No, this and the thing is. They're not all CGI. Like, they go back and forth between yeah. using the yeah. CGI dogs and Pretty using the any, real dogs. Yeah. Any time anytime they're, they're holding moving, a dog, it's the real dog. Anytime holding yeah. a dog, it's a real dog. Anytime the dogs are running, it's fake. It, if they're moving at all, it's a CGI. Right. Which is a step up from, like, um, like Call of the Wild, where the dog is CGI the whole time. But, yeah, but that everything but the dog... You can tell the difference between the CGI and the yeah, You can well, tell instantly. Like, that it's like, oh. Almost no, every... You can tell it's not there. Almost yeah. everything the dogs do... You could have just trained a or dog. Do you remember to do when it. they were running and like slipping? The only parts yeah. that I would have kept CGI were the parts where they're pushing the lady off the cliff. Yeah, that's really the only time you need to make. That's it the CGI. only time that's necessary for them. To How does she train her dogs to push someone off? The cliff? 
a lot of people do that. Blew the whistle. You train them to sick someone and yeah. point at them, and then they just jump and get on. They them. attack them. Near them. a cliff. Near a cliff. No, but the, yeah. the animation for the CGI dogs was kind yeah. of. Yeah. Sometimes it was all right. Sometimes the Dalmatians looked really bad. Yeah. But yeah. the other dogs. The usually looked broken. okay. The eye patch one looks pretty good. The Dalmatians yeah. one Dobermans? would be like no. Dogs. There's a rat dog, and then there's like a Chihuahua with an eye patch, and then there's two Dalmatians. Wait, three three Dalmatians. Dalmatians. Okay, so, Chihuahuas so if there's a time gap like of ten dogs. years, yeah, I mean it's only five dogs. You couldn't like make it good. Train some, yeah. I don't know. I think most yeah, obviously most budget. of the budget went to costumes. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of dresses. Yeah. Well, there's like every scene. Both Emma Thompson and Emma Stone are switching outfits. Okay, yeah. There are only like three or four sets. Maybe, yeah. There's yeah. not a lot of locations then. I mean, like, you're either at Hell Hall. You're at the fountain. The fountain, yeah. the house, or the, or the dress is, factory. The dress place. And that's it. You're done between those four there locations. Was school. There was a school at the start. Everything else, you're jumping between those four locations. Right. Okay, so there's so, a. I think it doesn't make sense it, why. Yeah, I don't know where the money went. I wonder, I'm just, it's like, I'm some, guessing, some production assistant in back was just flushing bills I'm, down the no, I'm, I'm guessing that they spent a lot of money on Emma Stone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think That's that, she thought probably demanded, like, a 40 and, million. Well, and I think they probably got some, like, like, actual, like, fashion designers yeah. to make the dresses. Make dresses. And that was probably How also really expensive. Emma Stone make? Oh, and Don't you know what? The they probably spent a lot on music, too. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, for the, the music. Because yeah. music is expensive. Because it was almost a bought, jukebox musical. They bought yeah. like fifty, like over fifty pop songs. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if there was a, if there was like at least a ten year time gap, wouldn't the three Dalmatians be like really old by the time? They could have been different Dalmatians. Yeah. Never thought about that. Um, huh? Yeah. But huh? How do you buy new dogs? I don't get it. Yeah, but there was the same three though. Like, or she just got three same. more. Maybe dogs. she got three more. Also, if the dogs, let's say, I mean, dogs are pretty much fully grown in like a year and a half. Yeah. So let's say they're two years old at the beginning. Ten years, they'd be, they'd be 11, they'd, be they'd still be alive. Yeah, they'd still be alive, but they'd be older. So, so they can not. still just chase someone. Dogs can run. That's not realistic. No, dogs guys. don't run. <laughs> dogs just dogs just don't fly. only walk. So, Sam, would you recommend Apparently Cruella? Emma Stone is the highest paid actress in the world. What? what? For what? That's not true. Well, as of 2017. Okay, oh. that's 2017. Oh, well, yeah, okay, but in what? Like, what made her the highest paid actress? Probably Spider-Man. La La Land? La La Land. Spider-Man, La La Land. How much did she get paid in La La Land? Wait, that was 2017. Zombie Land. She's in Zombie, Zombie Land. She did not know. She took Netflix a Netflix series. Well, that's cause, I mean, that movie was more like a passion Zombie project. Land. Anyways, uh, La La yeah, so that movie Spider-Man. was fine. Did they pay... Emma Stone went from being worth $4.5 million to $30 million. So she's, wow. she's doing okay. She's doing pretty good. They should get her to play Harley Quinn. They should uh, not recast Harley Quinn. Why would they not just get yeah, Harley Margot Quinn? Robbie? Yeah. Margot Robbie. Okay, yeah. Her butt sells way too many tickets. <laughs> Can't be changing the butt out now. Gotta get those butt <laughs> shots. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know how you know how in the Justice League the cameras just always on their butts for some reason. Okay, final, final thing. Who directed Justice League? Joss Whedon directed the first cut, and then okay, yeah, okay. Just go watch Cruella, and then it's okay. Sam, would you recommend Cruella? If there's nothing else to watch, it's I want to watch it. I would first recommend A Quiet Place too. Shut up, Max. And then Patrick, would you recommend Cruella? I would watch it just to watch it, and then just forget about it. Watch it, but bring your phone. That's a. Oh, That's my recommendation. Okay, my, $30. my specific recommendation for Cruella is um, buy it on Disney Plus at home, put it on the it's background, need to be on the and, and do like laundry while you're watching. While you're watching. <laughs> you know, this this movie feels like one that wasn't so spectacular that you needed to see it in theater. I yeah. actually, I think visually, I enjoyed parts of it in the cinema. Yeah. I like cinematography. Okay, the cinematography was pretty. There good. was that one shot. Uh, you know, the, remember the montage of her cleaning floors? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Where they or when they the... were going that single there camera shot. That, that was pretty cool. Yeah. There's some pretty fun tracking shot. shots in it. Yeah. But it's other than that, uncut and it goes all the way from this. Like, well, there was one cut, but they hit it. Way. They hit it because they like went like, yeah, they around just, a guy's leg, and then they used that to cut to the bathroom. If, yeah, but it looked seamless. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying don't watch it if you're going to. Sure, why not? 
But you uh, might enjoy it. With so. with a Quiet Place two in theaters. Uh, if you're one of those rabid record. Disney adults and you go watch it, I'm not gonna make fun of you for watching it. <laughs> oh, that's what I, that's my guarantee. To Morgan's you. gonna watch it because he likes it. There's gonna be more <laughs> more Emma Stone fans than Disney fans watching yeah. this movie. Yeah. So and she's fine. She's good in the movie. So she uh, bad. sometimes her British accent breaks though. Sometimes yeah. That was I was just waiting for that. And some American. Yeah. Yeah, she's American. That's so you can weird. Tell. You, you never see. You, you rarely see American actors go doing in, British, British accents, but you 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 see British actors all go the time American all the time, yeah, because they're better at it. And Americans can't. It's very hard for Americans yeah. to do a British accent without sounding. Tom like Holland complete. did it, and uh, she's and she just did Finn, the guy who played Finn. Like you, you know how like when people make fun of British people, they're like, oh darling, like it's yeah. literally that accent. She's for the whole movie. doing yeah. She's doing like the over eccentric <laughs> yeah. Kind of, like, well, because, yeah. Oh, she switches, too. She does, like, the Cruella one, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah, the Cruella one is very, like, exaggerated. Over like, the top. Because she goes, Cruella. It's like posh. Cruella. Cruella. Yeah. She moves no, her she, tongue you like, gotta, You gotta do the bottom lip. She <laughs> Every time she Cruella. says it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that was that. All right. talk about Bad Batch? Really yeah, let's talk about Bad Batch. Oh, I haven't seen it, though. That's awesome. Oh, don't, how we don't you? care about you, guys. It's a woman. Okay. okay. I mean, it's nothing place. really spoiler. The other movie, though. Well, we saw. Like Patrick hasn't seen it, though, so let's not spoil it. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. All right, we can non spoil it. We'll, we'll just talk about that one next time. What, what It'll still be Jack Hamlin thought it had really good cinematography. It does. What yeah, I know. That's what he said. Tucker would like it for its cinematography. Okay, so we're going to talk about Bad Batch. All right. I haven't seen that. Well, Do you want to watch it? No, he doesn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> then this is. hasn't seen a single Star Wars movie. Ever? I think I've seen one of them. I've seen, I definitely have seen some of the prequels. I bet your favorite Those scene the is the pod racing scene with a- Anakin. That's, that's your favorite scene, right? And Morgan is so scene. unaware of Star Wars, he doesn't even He doesn't know, know what a pod racer is. <laughs> 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 or who Anakin is. You know the scene where they go, woo, yeah. woo. Who, no. are, who are you even talking about? Morgan, uh, <laughs> what's remember, Star Wars? Do you remember anything that happened in the one you saw? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I know what happened. In the what, what would, tell me one scene, and I'll tell you which one it was. I know, I know, you just don't treat me like... Well, no, just, just, <laughs> so we know which one you saw. I've seen a lot Morgan, of them. Morgan, okay. you, remember, you remember that guy? Did you see right Rogue there? One? I've seen Solo. Was he in that one? I know you've seen Solo. I know you did see Solo. <laughs> Why would you watch Solo? You saw Solo in the It's the theater. only one you've seen? <laughs> I remember, I remember you, I remember you, I no, you didn't go with me, I just remember you telling me that you saw Solo. Who did I go with? You went with your mom. So I mean, no, if you just see no, no, no. one Star Wars movie, I guess Solo's fine, because it's not really related to anything else. I find, I find that most people who have only seen a single Star Wars movie, it's weirdly Rogue One. Well, yeah. that's the best one to watch just by itself. I've definitely seen the prequels, and I think I've seen some of the original. Because you don't really need to know who Saw Gerrera is. No, it's I either, think it's either it you watch be... Rogue One, or you just watch the original. Yeah. yeah. Rogue One, though, it's so reference-heavy. Like, I feel... No, no, if you know nothing about Star Wars, and you go like, watch it, you'll be you, fine. You still can, but you'll be like... It'll be less fun for you. Evan and Rack will go, I know what that is, and you'll go, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Saw Gerrera? <laughs> well, not not even people who only saw the movies knew who that was, so... Yeah. Only us epic Clone Wars I like fans. how they're just like, oh, Saw Gerrera is just in every single spin-off thing now. They just keep sticking him in everything yeah. now. Yeah, like Fallen Order, there he is. Uh, Bad Batch, oh, there he is again. Which is good for that guy who has the voice for him. Yeah. <laughs> Rebels, guess what? There he is. He's in Fallen Order, he's in Rebels. He's he makes in, sense. He's Bad in Batch, literally... He's in Clone Wars, he's in Rogue One. He's in every canon spin-off except... The High Republic books. Because oh, he wasn't born yet. Yeah. Hey guys, what new character and should so we much. add to the new Boba Fett show? Sagarera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Bad Batch, what was Bad this Bad episode? Yeah, what happened in this episode? I don't do it. There were two. Are we got to do... No, we, we did three and We four. talked about Fennec Shand. Oh, right. You didn't watch all of four. But did oh. you watch five? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember what happened. <laughs> I watched it at like uh, This was the did one... Oh, this is what the one where they do the job for the. Oh, that's right. right. They went and got the baby Rancor monster. I liked this one. Yeah, it was a good, it was a fun episode. It's fun. It doesn't feel like the story. It feels like this is kind of what most of them are good. Yeah, so when I like doing jobs. It's Clone Wars. Which I is like. Pretty fun. I like that. That's I like how you know that it's Jabba's Rancor, but yeah. they don't really like you know be like a, this is Jabba's Rancor beast. It's just like oh, it's, it's Bib Fortune is the one with the bounty, so it's Jabba's. Yep. I feel they brought back the uh, the cat slave. Guys from Clone Wars, yeah. from that one arc. What do they look like? They're like, like furries. Imagine if a werewolf <laughs> was so also like into real, like really into BDSM. So they, they brought, like that. Yeah, they brought back the people, Clone Wars. Yeah, he's some weird stuff on there. <laughs> Zagarian. 
Yeah, they were way, way less threatening in this than they were in yeah. Clone Wars. In Clone Wars, they Clone success Wars they successfully enslaved, like, enslaved Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi Wan with like minimal effort, yeah. as well as an entire planet of yeah. people. I think that I like it when they and then in this one they were like about, foiled by a small girl with a rock. I just want them to talk more or show more about the Empire the stuff. Empire yeah, stuff. that's obviously the vampires. I like vampires. Sure, that's right. <laughs> <What? laughs> Morgan was no. It was like the first episode is like, ooh, what's this? This, this guy first doing? episode's definitely the best. Episode. So far, yeah. And then it's just like, and then let's do everything. ever since then it's just been kind of yeah. going around. They gotta, they gotta find some more interesting stuff for the. They gotta episode. talk about the Kaminoans and they gotta talk yeah. about the Empire. Not nobody cares about who, what even is that? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, can we move on from this? I don't like the little girl. I think she'll she be more important at, later, later on. on. She's she annoying to me, on. and I just wish that it was the other guys and not her, because she is no, annoying. I think she's like, going to be... She's going to be important, but... She's, she's going to be like Ahsoka, where she's, everyone's going to hate her for the first two two seasons, or however long the show goes I for. think the, I don't see this thing going on. And then eventually, yeah, whatever else she shows up in, she'll be really good, and everyone will like This her. might even be a one-season show. It might be. You think she'll be like in Luke's Jedi Academy or whatever? I think people will like her later on. But I don't. Wait, but she's basically as old as Luke. Or no, she's she, older. Yeah. She's older than Luke. So never mind. But <laughs> so we know she like dies probably. Or she's just wandering around. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to the inevitable crossover between uh, uh, the Bad Batch and Kanan and Hera. Yeah, that'll be cool. That's gonna happen. They're just gonna run. It's not confirmed. I'm just guessing that's gonna happen. I mean, they they coexist at one point. Yeah. So, Um, also, Captain Rex is supposed to show up at some point. I want to see Commander Cody fight Captain Rex, and Captain Rex be very sad about it. That's what I want from this show. It's not gonna happen. I know, but I want it. Come on, a lot of the times they give us what we want. (laughs) Okay. So, So did you see episode three? Do you know which one episode three is? The one where Do you know the one where the, the dudes the in the where, armor kill all the Jedi? And the ones where Anakin becomes Darth Vader. That, you saw that one? That. Alright, you know when the clones are killing all the Jedi? No. <laughs> Order 66. Okay, that, that's called Order 66. Okay. The clones have chips six. in their heads, okay. so when Palpatine tells them execute Order 66, they all turn on the Jedi and kill them, right? Execute. Ca- Captain Rex had his chip removed by Ahsoka as Order 66 was happening because she figured it out and managed to take it out. That's in the Clone Wars. Right? Yeah, that's in the Clone Wars. Commander Cody, who was like best friends with Captain Rex and was worked for Obi-Wan, mm-hmm. he, killed all the he did not get his chip removed. He's very evil at this point. So I want to see Captain Rex save and Commander Cody. Cody fight. And I want to see Captain Rex be very sad about it. I that's what I want. I want to see Rex save Cody. Yeah, he doesn't. Because we know we know all the clone commanders that survive because they're living in that tank in Rebels in that one episode. And it's not Cody. And no, Cody's it's not there. Wolf and so uh, maybe I want to see and Wolf, Gregor, Rex, and, and one other. What if Rex remember. kills Cody? That would be pretty cool. I would be down for that. Like he doesn't want to, but yeah, in battle. And then we get to see Captain Rex cry again. Be so Did sad. he cry before? Yeah, he remember he was talking about like those are my brothers down there and they're trying to kill us, and then Ahsoka's like. Takes his helmet off and he's oh, like right, crying. Oh, right, he's got a tear. Yeah. That was, that. that was a good episode. I only watched what are you the doing first and last season. Just looking at it, okay? What, why, did, why did you do that? No, because I saw that last season because I watched it with Papa. I watched it with Papa as it came out. And I watched the first one like a long time ago. Okay. Cause good episode, guys. Can we move Wait, on? Do we got more? I don't we got know. more stuff. That's it. What else can we talk about? We should nah, just talk about um, stuff. Just be done. It's only one forty six. Is there any anime? Yeah, going Samsung's on? got a new uh, virtual assistant. It oh. looks like an anime girl. Is it Bixby? Yeah. Rule thirty four artists are gonna have a heyday with this one. What the heck is that? Is new virtual assistant. So it's just a Korean girl. Uh, yeah. So Cortana and Bixby have a child. <laughs> What's her name? Sam. Uh oh. Yeah, probably the Sam song. Yeah, it makes sense. Wow. Um, they should call her Sung. You know what What I don't understand about, like, Google and Samsung is they come out with features, and then they don't take off. They abandon and them. And then like, they kill yeah. them. just like... Apple will work. force you to use a feature, even if you don't want to, until you like it. So it's like, Apple, when they make something, they stick with it. It's like, Google is like, remember uh, Stadia and also... Google Play Music and cardboard and all the things we've ever done. And then we're like, these were cool ideas, right? 
And Remember then, Project Sully? Remember how cool that looked? Oh, that? speaking of Sully, there was a behind-the-scenes the photo of Uncharted, the film. What on earth does that have to do with Sully? Do you like Van? Van Sully the, is the old man. You're the only one. You're the here only one here who knows what that is. It's because I'm the one who's played them. Yeah, you're yeah, the only um, one with a PS4. It's it looks not good. That's not, not looking good. forward to it. Yeah, so. Uncharted movie. Mark yeah. Wahlberg is playing Sully. I saw Mark that. And Wahlberg? he does not have a mustache, which is Sully's no defining characteristic. Cares. No, Maybe he'll get a mustache. And Tom Holland is still miscast. Should have been still, not Tom he's Holland. Still the, he's Tom still Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. Okay. You know that forty-year-old uh, man. <laughs> I don't know any forty-year-old like man. A, does it take place like earlier? It's a prequel. Yeah. Okay. If only Hollywood had a surplus of actors that were forty-year-old men. <laughs> <It's a shame laughs> Too bad we don't have Maybe any, Marshall and we had to cast Tom Holland. Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see what's going on. I can't, I'm surprised Tom Holland's being cast in anything. Um, well, he's in the Disney system now. June 8th. And the Sony system. June 8th is the Disney Ghostbusters Day. Day. Oh, Live. we should talk about oh, Ghostbusters. There's supposed to be a Spider Man trailer here in the next few weeks. Oh, no, that was confirmed to not happen. Either being either in front of Peter Rabbit or F9. Peter Rabbit. Oh. They, <laughs> Does Disney really own F9? Movie. Is that Fox? No, so movies, no, movie nice. trailers so usually play in front of audiences that would be more likely to go see it. So they're going to play it not F9, in front of Peter Rabbit. F9 and Spider-Man have similar audiences. So it's either going to come out before F9 or before Peter Rabbit. If they put it in front of Peter Rabbit, that would be a mistake. It would. But they'd also release it on the internet, so no one would care. Yeah. Speaking of child movies for babies coming out, Looking forward to at the same time... Days. Oh, <laughs> what is it called? Spirit? The first Spirit movie is really good. It's a good movie. And then they. Now the Horse Girls got a hold of it, and now they won't stop. What movie? Spirit. It's a movie about this horse. <laughs> oh, wait. Weren't we. We went to the North, North Park, right? And that was. Spirit. Yeah. So it's a movie about this horse. It, oh, yeah, it takes place during the Civil War, right? It's about this horse who gets basically, like, captured by the Confederate Army and, like, forced to, like, go to battle with them. But he's, like, untamable, hence the name Spirit. And then this Native American dude comes in and he's like, hey, uh, so you're being mean to the horse. Stop it. And then the horse is like, thank you, guy. Let's be friends. And then they go be friends. And does the Native American guy die? I don't know. I don't know. At one point he jumps over a ravine. But, good. yeah, it's a good movie. You should watch okay, it. Okay, um, so they've announced the new name for the Warner Brothers Discovery merger company. You want to know what it's called? Warner Discovery? Warner Brothers Discovery. Whoa, I was one word off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually excited for things, but I think that Batman movie is going to be good. Which oh, one? Oh, and um, uh, the one with Robert Pattinson. The one with the vampire? There was a trailer for yeah. the iCarly <laughs> reboot. Yeah. It's coming out on June 7th. Is they the got, weird feet guy of... making it? Gibby no. is gone. That's what everyone's not about. They got Shigeru. No, I thought they recasted her. No. Or they just replaced her with a character who's basically uh, the same. All the Maybe characters, different. some of the characters. The only, the, the only ones that are the same are the older dude and uh, they, iCarly. Yeah. That's all you need. It's, it's no, gonna be on no, Paramount um, Plus exclusively. No, Sam, whatever her name is. Oh, from Sam and Cat. No, she, she was from Ari. I know that. Yeah, and then she spun off with Ariana Grande. Grande. Who's yeah. ca- what's her character's name? She was name? from Cat, probably. Given, yeah. given that was she the was name of the show. <laughs> she was from Victorious, and then they had their own spin-off show. They got canceled after one season. Was can- no, I thought it, I thought it went on for no, a while. No, no, it didn't go on for a while, but it didn't get canceled. The it actress canceled. left. No, they got canceled. No, the actress didn't left. Didn't they treat her really bad? Yeah, that's why they left. Yeah. No, they also got canceled. Well, that's what happens when your actors leave. You no, just cancel no, the show. No, all the writers, the, the writers were bad. Like, they didn't know what to do. The one who played Sam didn't want to do, like, Nickelodeon. Neither one of them wanted yeah. to do it. And Ariana Grande wanted to go become a pop star. They only and did it because succeeded. they offered them a lot of money. And the other one is gone. Yeah, same, the same girl is sort of... Where we, how do I, uh, we, have, what, what are we at? We're at... She was in an episode where's the of the time on? We're at an hour and eight minutes. Okay, that's, that's long enough. That's long enough. Good, good, good show, everybody. Jolly good show, boys. Uh, we'll about... be gone next week, but we'll be back. Don't let him in... talk about it. We're going to be gone? <laughs> what are we doing next week? We'll be gone next week. We'll, uh, we'll be in Hawaii. Why are we gone? Oh, because Patrick's gone? No, because we'll be gone. Where are and we going? Also be we'll also Wait, where are we going? going? To I can do it for Sam. Oh, you're, okay. Sam, you're going to then um, we'll yeah. I was going to say, what do you mean? The, I can do the podcast. And then in two <laughs> weeks, Sam and Morgan. Sam and Morgan episode. episode. <laughs> in, in, in True two, crime episode. <laughs> in two weeks, um, 
we'll probably uh, we'll probably do it on like Wednesday or Thursday so we can get all the E3 stuff in there. Okay. Bye-bye. So bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Let me talk about it.